good morning uh, everybody i welcome all the resource persons the president of the inaugural session principal dr shirda shirsat sir the convener of the national webinar professor gd sagar sir the keynote addresser principal ghumre sir principal dr kakade sir professor vidya sagar sir professor kalbande sir all the dignitaries specifically honorable president of msp mandal honorable sri prakash dada solanke sir honorable secretary of msp mandal honorable sri satish bhau chavan sir all the dignitaries of the college development committee specifically honorable sri jaising bhaiya solanke honorable sri ajay singh dikkat sir honorable sri professor mukund rao sawant sir honorable sri ina jadhav sir honorable sri remaining dignitaries of the college development committee of arts and commerce and science college kille dharu may i take this opportunity to welcome you one and all those who have been counted through my words and those who have been yet to be counted friends this is a national webinar on e content development opportunity and challenges this webinar is organized by honorable msp mandals library and iqc of the college first of all it is my prime duty to welcome you all and let's start this national webinar friends during this covid lockdown period there are numerous opportunities that the researchers faculty members librarians and all those research supervisors have taken this opportunity to have a close interaction in different webinars and workshops i take this opportunity as developing the content of our subjects developing the content of our knowledge fields so without making any more delay i take this opportunity to welcome the winner of the national webinar professor g sagar sir to have his convener's words to the delegates professor gd sagar sir okay sir i am audible sir hello hello sir i am audible sir hello avaaz hi to gaun आवाज सर हेलो हेलो सर आई एम ऑडेबल Yes, sir. You are audible. You can start. Oh, a warm welcome to honourable guest and participant, myself, Gopal Sagar, convener of this national webinar on e-content development opportunity and challenges. In this webinar, 
शिवशंकर घुमरे सर प्रिंसिपल विश्वविद्यालय शिक्षण संस्था आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज जालना महाराष्ट्र आई आल्सो वेलकम टू रिसोर्स पर्सन प्रोफेसर विद्यासागर कोटा लैब्रियन हेड तारा गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज संगारेड्डी तेलंगाना स्टेट आई वुड लाइक आल्सो वेलकम टू डॉक्टर कालबांडे सर लैब्रियन जे वाटुमोला साधुबेला गर्ल्स कॉलेज उल्हासनगर मुंबई लास्टली आई वुड लाइक टू गिव बेस्ट विशेष टू पार्टिसिपेंट एंड आई श्युअर दे आर देर विल बी फ्रूटफुल डिस्कशन इन दिस नॅशनल वेबिनार थँक यू वन अँड ऑल ओवर टू डॉक्टर गंजवार सर ओवर टू डॉक्टर गंजवार सर हॅलो हॅलो हा सर काय प्रॉब्लेम आहे का मुंडे सर आय थिंक आय थिंक अदर पीपल्स हॅव सम प्रॉब्लेम सो ॲज पर दी प्रायव्हेट चॅट देर इज एन इन्स्ट्रक्शन रिगार्डिंग द प्रिन्सिपल सर विथ द स्टार्ट देअर स्पीच सर बिकॉज आय थिंक अदर हॅव सम प्रॉब्लेम्स सो कॅन यू स्टार्ट ओके 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 सर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी टुडे आय एम व्हेरी हॅपी दिस इज अ सेकंड नॅशनल वेबिनार ऑफ अवर कॉलेज इन्स्पायरिंग अवर एज्युकेशनल ऍक्टिव्हिटीज ऑनरेबल एम एल ए श्री प्रकाश दादा सोलंके प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ एम एस पी मंडल ऑनरेबल एम एल ए श्री सतीश भाऊ चौहान सेक्रेटरी एम एस पी मंडल ऑनरेबल जयसिंग भाया सोलंके ऑनरेबल लोभाजी चव्हाण ऑनरेबल अजय सिंग दिक्कत ऑनरेबल प्रोफेसर मुकुंद सावंत ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर राम सिंगारे ऑनरेबल श्री ईना जाधव ऑफ द ऑफिस बियर्स ऑफ ऑल द ऑर्गनायझेशन हॅव गिवन दिअर बेस्ट विशेष for the webinar the organizer of this webinar librarian 
प्रोफेसर गोपाल सगर आईक्यूएससी कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर डी एन गंजवार डॉक्टर गोपाल काकड़े प्रोफेसर जोगड़े एंड ऑल्सो हैंडलिंग द टेक्निकल साइड ऑफ दिस ऑनलाइन वेबिनार प्रोफेसर अभिजीत मुंडे को ऑपरेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट ई कंटेंट डेवलपमेंट ऑपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड चैलेंजेस अ वन डे ऑनलाइन नेशनल वेबिनार वॉज इनॉग्रेटेड बाय अवर फ्रेंड्स प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर शिवशंकर गुमरे मत्सुदरी कॉलेज अंबड जालना महाराष्ट्र रिसोर्स पर्सन प्रोफेसर के विद्यासागर लाइब्ररियन एंड हेड तारा गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज संगारे तेलंगाना स्टेट द सेकंड रिसोर्स पर्सन इज डॉक्टर दत्त कालबांडे लाइब्ररियन ऑफ साधु बेला एजुकेशन सोसायटीज जे वाटमल साधु बेला गर्ल्स कॉलेज उल्हासनगर मुंबई महाराष्ट्र विदाउट थैंकिंग एक्सपर्ट्स गाइड्स ऑफ दियर वैल्युएबल टाइम आई वुड रैदर रिमेन इन दियर डेप्ट डियर फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक हैज क्रिएटेड मेनी प्रॉब्लम नॉट ओनली इंडिया बट ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड The education sector is completely locked out from the March to till date, due to this contagious disease. Teachers and students are out of direct contact with each other. The main purpose uh, purpose of organizing this online webinar is to communicate between eminent personalities, uh, personalities and teachers, and share knowledge. of e content development opportunities and challenges have arisen for india just as covid 19 had created problems the role of social media is also important for communications between students and teachers through that e content can be developed the teaching learning process has to be effectively developed through pdf jpg slide video clips and other the present presented seminar will be useful for this i hope there will be fruitful discussions in this place and sharing knowledge will come up with useful ideas for teachers students and community welcome and thank you once again to the hafiz bs eminent persons participating teachers and students in this online webinar jai hind jai bharat thank you sir thank you for your elegant presidential speech now it is the time for the delegates to listen to the keynote address sir principal dr shiv kumar gumre sir dr shiv kumar gumre sir is an eminent principal in the entire dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad he is actively working as the principal of matsudari shikshan sanstha Art Science and Commerce College, Ambed, District, Jalna, Maharashtra. Sir has given, sir has given, up to now, near about more than hundreds of research papers delivered and given specific lectures in various national and international conferences. Now may I take this opportunity to request Principal Dr. Bhumre sir to give the keynote address. of the today's national webinar on e content development opportunity and challenges principal dr gumre sir thank you ganjwar sir am i audible please reply me am i audible yes sir yes sir yes sir you are audible ganjwar sir thank you uh good morning everybody 
and uh, wish you very happy guru purnima today's uh, webinar that is e content uh, development i am as a key note speaker first of all i was thank you uh, thankful to principal dr sirsat sir organizers of this webinar vice principal madhav jogan convener of this webinar mr gopal sagar one uh, keynote speaker dr k vidya sagar and uh, my student friend dr datta kalbandi and most important all participants those who are joining here welcome a warm welcome to you all friends dr ganjawar has introduced me as a principal but let me tell one thing that basically i am librarian i work as a college librarian for 26 years and now i am working as a principal uh first of all i would like to share my screen is it visible hello yes sir yes sir yes okay 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 today today uh, i am speaking on e content uh, keynote speaker as a uh, this webinar as a keynote speaker of this webinar e content development and uh, as doctor uh, principal doctor sirsat says that we are facing this pandemic condition this pandemic situation since Three months, I think, since it is uh, from uh, March 2020, and uh, we all are in home, and we are working from home. Home. Some of us are going to their office, and they are working from office. But almost all we are uh, working from home. Uh, in this COVID-19 pandemic condition, these are the impacts of COVID-19 on social. society or social uh, situation that that everyone has to follow social distancing sanitization everyone has to maintain health and hygiene there is restriction on social gathering there is restriction on festivals there is restriction on religious uh, functions religious functions social functions then there is a restriction on academic gatherings and uh, sports activities are uh, as well as schools are not working with with physical mode or with regular mode uh, government had already told us that up to 1st august august of this uh, 1st august uh, we can't uh, call student and teachers in the college schools there is impact on teaching and learning business is also impact uh, there is impact on also business business also stop there is full closure worldwide near about uh, almost all countries have closure there uh, everywhere minimal services and now government state government central government as well as our higher education department higher education department are preparing to reopening all these situations 
sorry. Uh, with this quotation, uh, Bill Gates says the technology is a just tool to to terms of getting of getting the kids working together and motivating them. But the teacher is the most important. With this uh, statement, I start my presentation. Uh, four, there are four basic ingredients of teaching and learning process. One is student. Another is teacher. Third one is content, and fourth one is co context. As as we know, the students and teachers are not coming in school. Content to uh, up to this period before this COVID nineteen period, content is almost physical uh, mode of uh, teaching. And context is a physical mode. Now we have to rethink about these two, these four, four uh, in ingredients. Students are not coming in school colleges. Teachers are also not coming in school colleges. We have to think about content. We have to think about content context. Before this, I would like to share some figures that these figures are showing us that near about 213 countries and territories affected by COVID and everywhere is closure. The world student population, it is, this figure is of 2020. I don't have a current figure, but it, it was 1.29 billion students studied in the year 2020. 2014, sorry. But in the year 2020, around 200 million students studying in higher education worldwide. And in India, around 40 crore students are studying in school education, higher education. And the student strength of higher education in India is 3.75. 74 crore and all these are affected by COVID-19 pandemic condition. All these students are at home, they are trying to study at home and now we have to, now all persons in education, education uh, policy makers, teachers, educationists have to think about the the uh, future or present condition of this population, that student population. Now, I have to, I would like to share some guidelines that UNICEF and World Health Organization provided us to reopening school and colleges. It is, these guidelines are provided, are published in March 2020 in this guidelines, UNICEF and World Health Organization suggested some guidelines for school administrators, teachers, and staff. The basic principle is following basic principle can help student, teacher, and staff. Safe at school help to stop spread of this disease. Recommendations for these are recommendations. First recommendation is six student teachers and other staff should not come to school. School should enforce regular hand washing and save water and soap, alcohol rub, hand sanitizer, chlorine solution and at a minimum daily disinfection and cleaning of school surfaces. These, these conditions are for reopening of schools. If government permit us, to reopen school colleges with minimum number or with 30% or with 50% or with whatever it, may, it will be decided by government. Then another condition is school should provide water, sanitization, waste management facilities and follow environmental cleaning and decontamination procedures. Schools should promote social distancing at least uh, 
a term applied for certain actions that are taken to uh, slow down the spread of highly contagious disease including including limited limiting large group of people coming together then strategizing the beginning and end of the school day we have to decide the timing of college that what at what time college will begin and at what time at what time college uh, will end that i i think that we have to minimize the period of the physical college or physical teaching uh considering assemblies we have to uh, ban assemblies sports uh, games the other events like uh, academic gatherings and crowd uh, and, uh, we have to restrict the crowded condition when possible create space for children's days to be at least 1 meter we have to maintain distance between two days of at least 1 meter teach and model creation creating space and uh, space and avoiding unnecessary touching uh, this is plan for continuing learning continuity continuity learning we have used online e learning strategies uh, unicef and world health organization suggested every academic institutions that start online education or e learning education then assigning teaching and exercise for home study that every school and college or every education institute had uh, assign home studies so it may be on electrical electronic way or e way or virtual uh, uh, way then government and uh, higher education agencies or uh, authorities have to start radio podcast of television broadcast and academic content assigning teachers to conduct remote daily or weekly follow up with the student and review develop accelerated education strategies these are the guidelines for uh, students uh, sorry uh, authorities and these are some guidelines checklist for school administrators and teachers and staff that what we have to do after partially opening the college school and uh, how the, uh, these are uh, ensure the soap and safe water is available at age appropriate hand washing stations encourage frequent and thorough washing at least 20 seconds we, we have to everybody knows that we have to wash our hands uh, at least 20 seconds with soap and all these things place hand sanitizer hand 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 sanitizers to toilet classrooms halls near to exit where possible ensure adequate clean and separate toilets or latrines for girls and boys separately clean and disinfection disinfect in this uh, school buildings classrooms especially water and sanitizing facilities facilities at least once a day particularly surface that are touched by many people like railings tables sports equipments doors windows handles teaching learning aids use sodium hypochlorite uh, government and uh, who has suggested that for sanitization of non living things uh, we have to use sodium hypochlorite of 0.5% for this this inspection it is inspecting surfaces and 70% ethyl alcohol for this inspection of small items means it means the for non living things every all along the uh, non living things we have to disinfect uh with sodium hypochlorite and with live organs we have to disinfect with uh, sanitizer of ethyl alcohol that content of uh, sanitizer uh, ethyl alcohol in this uh, sanitizer is at least 70% the in there should be increase in increase of air flow and when ventilation where climate allows we should we should open windows doors uh, close uh, we should we should not run the air conditioners 
and we should open doors windows and uh, there should be flow of air then post science encouraging encouraging good hand and respiratory hygiene practices just need then ensure trash is removed daily and deposited of safely these checklists are given by world health organization and unicef to all educational institutes while we are going to re reopen the education institute partially or fully we have to follow all these things then we go to main uh, theme of this webinar that e content development and first of all why we go to go for e content development because government has suggested that we have to start e learning from august 2020 that uh, two days before chief secretary of maharashtra issued a letter and uh, said or uh, told us that UG colleges should start from August 2020 with e-learning mode, and for this e-learning mode, we have to start to develop, or we have it is mandatory to us to develop the e-content for e-learning. Uh, these nationwide closure are impacting over 91% of world. student population world student population several other countries have implemented localized school closure impacting millions of additional learners unesco supporting countries of their efforts to mitigate mitigate the immediate impact of school closure particularly for more vulnerable and disadvantaged community and to facilitate the continuity of education of all through remote learning the unesco estimates that 40 crore students are affected in india including those in the school and colleges uh, already i told these figures out of these 3.74 crore students in higher education therefore government has suggested us government has recommended us to go for e learning program some constraints there are some constraints for e learning or uh, virtual learning there is a digital divide uh i would like to share one my own experience uh that we have started uh virtual classes or e classes since 15th of june for 12th class students and now we started uh, these classes for ug students now but there is one big constraint for this that is digital divide near about uh, 30 to 40 percent students are attending our classes and 60 to 70 percent students are not attending classes because of their uh, problems of uh, gadgets and uh, net connectivity that is the digital divide this figure shows that in the year 1718 national sample survey reported that 28 or 23.8 percent of indian households had internet access but in the rural households that rural population of india is 66% only 14.9% households have internet access and in urban households there is 42% and all almost these net users are male net users and female or women net users are only 16 percent a recent news reported reported that 12.5 percent of student had access of smart phones furthermore most teachers are ill equipped or for online teaching this is these are the figures but fact is almost 80 to 90 percent girls don't have their own smart phone and more than 60 to 70 percent boy students they don't have their own smartphone they, they don't have their net connectivity this is first constraint another constraint is upgradation of teacher online education 
there is problem of teacher training for online education there is problem of technical education for teacher education teacher training these shows that online learning is a special kind of methodology and not all teachers are good at it or at least not all of them were ready to this sudden trans transition from face to face to online learning teachers are not ready to go directly online platform they have a habit to face of face to face teaching and they are not ready they are not prepared and uh, they have facing very much difficulties to go for online teaching most of the teachers are just conducting lectures on video platform such as zoom which may not be real online learning in the absence of dedicated online platforms specially designed for the purpose there is a risk that in such a situation learning outcomes may be may not be achieved and it only the resulting engaging the students there is a risk in such situation learning outcomes may not be achieved at a at it may be only the resulting engaging the students yes of course it it is also my experience that we are just engaging students and all these students uh, the, the engaged students are not sent percent uh, i am telling my uh, college uh, figures uh, we have near about 400 uh, comma students 12 uh, comma student in the studying in 12th standard we are we started our class uh, uh, since 15 of june but out of 400 students only 170 to 80 students are joining class and other are not joining because of their problems like digital divine and their gadgets and equipments and net connectivity and all these things <coughs> there are some positive uh, there are uh, uh, another um, more um, uh, some constant are there but i am taking very short in this regard there are some positive changes there will be some positive changes due to this covid 19 there is rise in blended learning there will be rise in blended learning every you should have to try every student every teacher is going to try that for the blending learning and government also suggested us for the blended learning we have to go for blended learning uh, blended learning for this coming uh, period uh, university and college will shift to the model of blended learning where the both face to face delivery along with the with an online models will become a norm this will require all teachers to become the more technology savvy techno savvy or technological savvy and go through some training to bring themselves to the level that would be required new way of delivery and assessment of learning outcomes will have to be adopted with opens immense opportunities for major transformation in the area of curriculum development and pedagogy we have to start we have to go for blended learning we, government also suggesting in uh, near future that we have to we have to allow only 30% to 40% student daily and there will be half uh, physical mode teaching and there will be half online mode teaching that's why there is a rage in the blended learning then another change positive change will be the learning management system to be the new norm that learning management we have to change we have to go for new learning management and see this blended learning but this is a great great opportunity to us to open up of those companies that have to be developing and strengthening the learning management systems uh, um, uh, there are number of companies they are trying and developing the learning management system and they are providing to us that is university and colleges this has the potential to grow at a very fast 
piece, but we will we have to price the for use of these all institutions. Then one more thing, positive thing is the improvement of learning material. If think about this, that if there there is not this COVID nineteen pandemic, then can we go with these all these things, these all webinars, these all uh, e content development or the online uh, teaching? No, we never think about uh, this. But we now we have to think. Now we are we have mandatory situations. We have we have mandatory uh, workings that we have to improve our teaching, learning, and evaluation method. There is a, also increasing the collaborative works. Uh, almost all universities and uh, eminent institutes they are collaborating. Other institutions worldwide or global institutions they are, they they have very strong platforms and they sharing this uh, technology, these platforms and the, all these things that. Uh, uh, in the uh, near future, uh, collaborative work will be definitely increased in the field of education. Then, uh, with these uh, few words, I am going to uh, some e-content development schools because today's topic is of e-content. Uh, we have think about all these things that how to develop e-content and what will be the helping things to us to develop the e content. Uh, we everybody should know these some uh, tools, or uh, we have everybody should try to know or try to learn all these uh, some of these tools to to develop the e content. For the this purpose, uh, these are some cloud storage. All these are free. One drive. The the, uh, the cloud storage of OneDrive uh, of capacity is 5 GB. iCloud have capacity 5 GB. Google Drive, everybody oh, we are using this Google Drive. Now we will use fully this Google Drive. That this Google Drive cloud capacity is 15 GB. Dropbox have 2 GB uh, storing capacity. These are the graphic editing tools. If we have to develop the e content, then we have to edit graphically, gra graphically figures and pictures. We have to edit uh, all these things for graphic editing, editing, editing tools. There, there is, there are lot of uh, tools or lot of uh, the softwares available on the uh, cloud or uh, websites. Uh, first is a uh, I mentioned here that is a draw pad. It is open source. My pet is also open source. Photoshop is commercial because it is uh, commercial, but it is very strong uh, graphic editing tool. Then GIMP, it is open source and it is a very good uh, graphic editing tool. Uh, it is alternative for Photoshop. And uh, then there is a Google SketchUp. It is very good for 3D model editing and Krita, there is another one uh, graphic editing tool is Krita. Then there is audio editing tool. If we want to develop content, if we have ready-made audio uh, track, then if we want to add some own words or add some own ideas in that track, then we have to uh, edit that audio track. And for the audio editing, these are the audio editing softwares. That is WavePair. Then Sound4. Then Adacity. All these are, sorry, sorry. Sound4 is a commercial software. WavePair is open source software. And Adacity is also open source software. These softwares will be used or these are used for editing audio track. We can add our audio, uh, audio. we can delete some part of audio that is audio track or, or we can edit by our ways that audio track. There is also video editor software. We have to 
know about all these softwares, the video editor softwares, that is Magisto is one. It is also open source. OpenShot, it is open source software, but it is Linux based. We don't use it as a, uh, it on window based uh, operating systems. We have to use OpenShot uh, on a Linux based. That there is a, another one uh, software is VideoPad. It is also window based and uh, open source software. Then Final Cut Pro is a very strong and very good software. It is developed by Apple. And everybody knows Apple is a very nice company or a very nice uh, corporate field that develop all these things. It is very strongest video editor uh, software. And uh, another one is uh, developed by Sony. That name is Vegas. And that's why it, uh, it also said as a Sony Vegas. Then there is a animation tool. If we have to develop the uh, e-content and we have to add some animated figures or animated uh, clips, then we have to, uh, uh, we must know about these animation tools. That is Adobe Flash is there. This is commercial software and it is, it is very good uh, uh, software. Uh, Flash, Adobe Flash, it is very good tool. Then Art of Illusion is there. It is open source. You can use it by free and another one, one is Blender. Then if we done all these e-content or we, if you uh, edited all these things and developed e-content and uh, we don't have uh, authoring tool, then there is no use of this authoring tool. Before all this authoring tool, uh, we have to see the screen recording software. This is most useful and uh, everybody is now, now using all this uh, screen recording software. That is uh, Cam Studio is there. Camtasia is there. Then Virtual Dub is there. Open Broadcast is there. Avoid, Avoid Make Books is there. Lightworks is there. Inspire is there. This is commercial software. Inspire, Inspiring is commercial software. It is very good, but it is uh, commercial and we have to uh, uh, procure it by paying dollar thirty five per year. It is costly. But uh, other are some of these are uh, open source. That open shot is there, screencast is there, Bandi Cam is there, Tiny, Tiny Talk is there. All these are the screen recording software. What we are doing there or on screen, it will be record with the help of this uh, screen uh, sharing software, screen recording software. And uh, I am telling that uh, if we develop e content and uh, if there is a no authoring tool, then the, there is no use of all these things. With this authoring tool, we have to publish or we have to uh, we have to publish our uh, e, e content with the help of this uh, authoring tool. Uh, this is EXE Learning. This is also open source software. Then Certe is also open source software. Then Adobe Captivita is there. This is commercial and it is very strong uh, authoring tool. Then GLO Maker is also open source software. Then LAMS, it is learning activity management system. It is a very good tool. And uh, last one is a tool book. And there is a lot of tools, lot of web softwares available on the uh, web or with the Play Store. You can download it and you can do your work very good. Lastly, I would like to say one thing that all these things, if we don't have knowledge to operate all these things, but we have knowledge to operate some platforms like Zoom, then uh, Facebook, then YouTube, with these things we have developed, we have to develop our uh, e-content. There is one very simplest way to develop the e-content. And this simplest way is the 
they will not be content with our hand gadget that is our smartphone or our mobile phone it is very easy if i will close this uh, window and uh, and i will show that how we will develop e content with this mobile everybody have this uh, like this smartphone and everybody have their own uh, handset and in, in 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 this handset there is a play store we have to go to that play store and download download any screen sharing soft software i see i have downloaded one az screen sharing software this is this is az screen sharing software and with this az screen sharing software we have to develop e content very easily very easy in this in the with the help of this software just just minute with this with this screen sharing software software what we have done or what we have did on this screen everything is recorded in your mobile that is we use this software we use uh, with this uh, software we can use our ppt we can use our uh, what we say our uh, graphic we can use our uh, pictures our audio to audio or everything if you don't have any uh, uh, educational uh, matter on any mobile you can just click your um, uh, camera and you can share, share with this camera like this this matter sorry you can share just me hold on you can open book and share this matter you can keep this with in front of camera and share this matter as a e content to the students this this all will be recorded on this mobile with this uh, uh, screen sharing uh, software available with everybody all audios all videos all presentations all this uh, e content will be recorded with this mobile with this app in, the, in your mobile and you can host it on the track that or uh, gadget track that you can use for the uh, hosting the your e content this is the simplest way you can think about it you can do or you can develop the e content with this easy mode that is download the screen sharing uh, app on your mobile do whatever you want to do with mobile everything will be record on that mobile and that will be see these are just a minute these are three if three buttons that you have to start stop and record all these things with help of this you can develop e content and you can share with your students and you can start to develop the e content with this word i would like to stop my this boring lecture i before stop before closing or concluding my session i thank you all to be to listen me patiently and i also thanking to principal honorable principal dr sirsat sir organizing committee 
प्रोफेसर सगर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर गंजेवार एंड ऑल ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी ऑफ द कॉलेज विद दिस वर्ड्स एंड कंक्लूडिंग माय दिस माय दिस सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र Uh, thank you, Principal Dr. Shiv Kum Kumre sir, that you have enlightened the debate with your excellent speech, with the depth of knowledge, and the uh, key content that you have delivered to our speakers. Thank you once again. Now, friends, we will move to the next resource person. The name of the resource person is Professor Vidya Sagar from Kothra. Professor Vidya Sagar is the librarian and head of the college in the Telangana state. The topic of the presentation is the role of OERs in online learning and teaching. This OERT is the son from Kota. Hello? Professor K. Vidya Sagar. Yeah. Shall I start, sir? Shall I start now? Hello? Hello? I'm audible, sir. Hello? Hi, you are audible, sir. Go ahead. Shall I start, Shall I start now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Good morning, everyone, sir. Good morning, everybody. And I'm very happy to see you all in this webinar. I am very thankful to the management of uh, uh, Arts and Science College of uh, once again Chile Daru District, Bid, and I am very thankful to the chief patrons over here, uh, Honorable Sri Satish Chavan, Secretary Garu, and uh, Honorable Sri Prakash Solanke, the president of the MSP Mandal. Aurangabad. I am very, I am very thankful to the principal also, uh, who have uh, given me great opportunity this time of uh, this college. As well as I am very happy and very I am thankful to uh, my friend, Mr. Gopal, and IQC team. I am very happy to see you all, and uh, I am very thankful to COVID also because COVID made uh, a new uh, visiting of the nature. New visiting of our relationships, and a new visiting of our lifestyles, and uh, and new understanding about our living conditions. Really, because not only in the education field, in world world and world scenario also, it has been changed. We lost the relationship from uh, of our family. We used to live away many hours from home, but this COVID made us to live together for some time to understand to with each other. It was a really wonderful time. At the same time. In uh, nature, also we have uh, maintained a lot of distance uh, with the nature, and uh, the nature has been. We have spoiled the uh, original and divine color. Uh, I mean, nature of our uh, climate, atmosphere because of our Western interest. But uh, God, really wonderful God, and uh, He gave an opportunity to understand His creation, because we spoiled its creation, His creation, and we spoiled whole uh, sanctity and holiness and. Uh, Temporary bit of uh, nature. That is why we are facing a lot of problems on this earth and this uh, space. Uh, now we understood nature is uh, everything. We are living in nature. We cannot control nature because nature is a blessing to us, not curse to us. That's why, and uh, it's a real, really wonderful time for our generation to understand with each other and the nature as the space and family and academics also. At the same time, we are living in a great condition because we are, we are not una we are unable to teach classes. We are unable to attend classes, and we are unable to learn uh, things at uh, classes. I mean, in the colleges, schools, and uh, universities. At the same time, library is also not available to the students because in this uh, condition, we are unable to reach uh, our, uh, I mean, requirements in academic area. More, not only in Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, India, and world world suffering a lot because we are uh, uh, directed to to have. Uh, new directions and to have uh, new, I mean, uh, blended learning and uh, wonderful. We are going to have 
a new experience in our generation i am very thankful to <coughs> the keynote speaker i am really uh, thankful to him he prepared wonderful uh, ppts and uh, he delivered wonderful lectures to us how to have e content how to have a classrooms in post pandemic situation the really uh, i am very thankful to him also and uh, at the same time my friend uh, mr uh, gopal das Uh, Sagar, I am very happy, thankful to him because he gave me opportunity to have this time with you. Mm, the same time, uh, I am going to have a. Uh, I want to share my screen now. One second. today we are going to concentrate on one day national webinar on e content development and uh, opportunities and challenges i told earlier also i am very thankful to the resource persons over here and uh, conducted by the principal dr shivdas j shirasar and audience committee of uh, department of library and iqsc this, this is my topic today to have interaction to have an understanding about oers the role of open educational resources in online learning teaching in post covid pandemic situation my name is k vidya sagar kotta vidya sagar a librarian of tara government ug and pg college sangareddy telangana state impact of corona on education system in india okay we will have a small video so that we can understand what is situation in in and around of telangana andhra maharashtra and the whole world just have a look into this video please for a few seconds okay this situation in our small video we came to know that what is situation on the world and academic area in our uh, local setup or conventional libraries or conventional colleges we used to have we used to have this kind of facilities particularly library where, where we have uh, books and uh, infrastructures periodicals newspapers and all learning resources like pre covid 19 we should have this kind of materials like in our collections we should we have books magazines newspapers and infrastructures bookshelves almara reading table chairs catalog cabinet etc 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 this was our scenario of the learning resource centers in our colleges maybe school in maybe junior college or degree or university we used to have this kind of physical environment of our learning centers but at the same time i observed in our college msp arts and commerce and science college and you have wonderful collection as a physical format books 
this uh, this month of collection we have in senior college junior college total 35840 at the same time others like bond volumes this much of collection periodicals and newspapers as well as institution repositories faculty mrps and faculty books the same time e resources what we have as by observation in the website uh, i think we have wonderful e e resources collections and list and uh, infonet e journal consortia knowledge resource center from baba saheb ambedkar bharatwar university library and abesco e journal databases uh, which have a collection of 81000 plus odd and abesco e books collection 137 and 839 uh, i mean book collection you have in abesco collection or those are all aggregators and wiley online library in which we have 15000 subscription and 1200 12000 e books but uh, these are all physical condition of your your library our library and whole libraries and whole learning centers in the colleges schools and universities but uh, the impact of covid 19 on higher education in india after this uh, covid see there is no classrooms right now because lecturer ha- lecture is placing and staying in home he cannot move from his home to colleges because there is no classrooms there is no college at the same time uh, there is no classes to teach to the students and you want you can't find students in the classes also because students are the soul of the academic centers so when there is no soul there is no life so there is no classrooms there is no classes in the college at the same time there is no uh, preparation for competitive examinations and career planning from the college because the covid 19 in uh, created or gave a bad impact and uh, we the system made very handicapped and uh, at the same time in libraries also there is no library libraries are suffering students are suffering learning communities like lecturer and teaching team is suffering and there is no books study materials and old question papers because of covid 19 because you know, since uh, four months we are suffering a lot and our syllabus is like uh, uh, waiting to teach but the, we don't have time to teach in the classrooms and to learn from the libraries just because of covid 19 but the, we are assured that because in online education it is assured that there is no problem because these covid 19 will not going to affect our studies or whole uh, academic centers because the initiatives on online learning and teaching uh, can be taken and the, the uh, academic thing is also the rethinking and government institutions also planning to give online education because we have wonderful gadgets like uh, computers we have mobiles we have tabs we have internet facilities also we have we have digital writing pads also we have all the are going to be a medium uh, between student i mean learners and learning community and teaching community and with the help of online education we are going to help them and uh, we have to learn and help them to students through online education same time initiatives for digital learning online learning and teaching as i told you this uh, nowadays there is no uh, point in that we are teachers are not only supposed to teach but the, the, they have to learn every day every year to update themselves with the digital learning era in digital learning era we used to have earlier we used to have a syllabus like a content or controlled syllabus with the controlled syllabus only we used to teach a subject to the students uh till new syllabus emerges or new syllabus changes but uh, this in this digital learning we have to learn we have to learn every day every hour to prepare ourselves to prepare for classes to impress the students and to accommodate to update the students with our teachings and learning without learning we can't teach properly with update information that is why initiatives for digital learning and online teaching is very important to the our uh, teaching staff at the same time to the teaching process system what is teaching process system the libraries so we are uh, libraries uh, libraries and teaching staff they are going to work parallelly and in a equal way that is why the library is going to teach or uh, do its teaching process through virtual libraries and uh, with the help of uh, virtual library we are going to provide online lectures academic notes and online notes and as well as we can give academic guidance to students with the help of virtual libraries because we don't have books in this virtual libraries but we have we are going to have all oers open education resources with the help of open education resources 
we are going to give lectures and notes academic guidance we are going to support faculty members we are going to help the students in this co covid 19 pandemic situation and uh, with the help of our virtual library only we are going to provide wonderful books competitive exams books and career planning we are going to give wonderful uh, like uh, uh, learning skills to the students so one word uh, albert stein in 1955 only he said wonderful word and this is going to uh, applicable in our this covid pandemic situation he said i never teach my people again i never teach my people i only attempt to provide the condition in which they can learn this is the condition we are going to experience and this is the condition we are going to put in because uh, see according to condition only the teaching staff as well as the learners has to change because i have to learn through the things only available things only that's why i said i never teach my people i only attempt to provide the condition in which they learn that is why uh in now uh, i think uh, almost all 65 years only he mentioned and he gave wonderful quote um and uh, one more by great gentleman alvin toffler in his book uh, rethinking the future he said the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write i repeat again the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who can't read and write but those who can cannot read or cannot learn or unlearn or relearn see now this is the era faculty students and librarians and all academic institution heads has to learn uh, and have, we have to learn 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 this, this is the only answer then teach succeeds or teach teachings followed by the learning that's why i told the illiterates of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn unlearn and relearn if you are unable to learn we are going to become a, in this technological era or post pandemic era will be treated as a illiterate as the technologically so my dear friends and my dear colleagues please understand the situation we have to get equipped we have to get learn we have to get equipped and with the knowledge and technologies which are going to come we are going to emerge day by day and academics also we have to get update information so everybody thinks that what is e learning maybe like conventional learning is different online learning is different we have we don't have computer knowledge and we are not uh, uh, succeed in uh, learning and teaching through online learning but it is it is a demystifying the myths of online learning learning is how to learn see learning is how to learn this is a new the, the, like uh, the thinking how to think like that like learning how to learn high tech no it's not high tech only it's only high touch learning it's a high touch learning it's not high tech it's only high touch learning it is very flexible multimodal delivery and interactive it's a wonderful because we can interact the students in our classrooms as i said told earlier uh, in uh, regular conventions colleges students 20% students only attend the classes but in our online learning if we tag with them with their attendance in online definitely we are going to have a, at least 80% of attendance and with the audio and videos they will get more and more information that is we said flexible multimodal delivery and uh, interactive learning first as i told earlier learning first and technology second because if you have a learning skill through oers then you can use technologies your mobiles your gadgets and tabs and computer laptop what else all mediums whatever it is available on online you can use it because first of all you have to learn what to learn and what to teach and how to get update information to uh, to enable the students to understand is uh, learning in a wonder i mean effective way that's what told if we have a learning skills properly then you can have a content management systems digital library open access open access open education resources both are see and a virtual uh, collection virtual resources will be interlinked with the technology applications that is why told e learning is very easier than conventional learning at the same time online learning is like education that takes place over the internet and uh, there is a wonderful word here it's often i mean referred as e learning or virtual learning among other terms 
this is purely student centric learner centric because the it is very dynamic engaging and learning environment and is a, it is very easily manageable and it has more uh, uh, systems to adopt to teach for the uh, teaching practice what is virtual learning again it's an environment see it is a, there are five components you can observe over here uh, on this uh, uh, web education or online education you can see student instructor content technology and peer there are two uh, two are technology based and three are our uh, like a uh, institutional cadre based one is student he is a learner instructor is a teacher and peers you can observe this here he peers in the thing but peers is the person who works back end of the system back end of the system it is mentioned very clearly that peers in a dictionary meaning evaluation of scientific academic or professional work by others working in same field lecturers may be teaching in the classroom but they say for the help of classroom teaching and student help the librarians and other like teaching aids going to work on par on parallel with the faculty that's why i told you peers are going to work in this pandemic situation in a scientific way academic way professional way along with the the faculty and to help them in their teaching the contents are oer contents and technology what we are going to is is a computer technology or ict right and virtual learning education it will interact it will connect to students lms learning management systems and communication collaborations content man management services that is digital library administration and assessment and instruction courses right the same time open knowledge but see in this pandemic situation every knowledge is open to all every knowledge is open to all not free free has some constraints free education is some constraint but open knowledge is very much accessible to all it's open access open source open course that is on moocs and open uh, scholarships open research and open data open innovation open textbooks and open oers so this open knowledge will liberate will empower and with it will democratize our uh, i mean academic uh, requirements and what is learning in in, in lms learning systems uh, we have lot of uh, modes lot of mediums like we can use moodles google rooms blackboard uh, zoom microsoft 365 chamillo open edx forma and dl2 infrastructure like that there are many other uh, platforms are going to emerge so we can use Uh, this platform for teaching and uh, for their uh, we can assign assignments we can assess their uh, questionnaire and we can go for effective teaching to to this lms looking at the future see this is the again mobility flexibility scalability will be there in, the, in going to in the fourth uh, coming uh, years or uh, in days to come so future is very 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 technologically innovative and blended future blended uh, Uh, academic learning will be there so uh, we have to have equipped for the preparation for preparing to give a wonderful teaching to students otherwise i told the elite it will be it will become a technological elite if we don't use or don't prepare for ourselves with the updated information in ranganathan philos our uh, library uh, librarian students or library students they they know there are five kinds of level loss One second, sir. Just one second. Phone is coming. There are five kinds of uh, laws which are framed and designed by our uh, uh, father of uh, librarians of India, uh, Dr. S. R. Ranganathan. The books for use. First law, law. Second law is every person is uh, or her book. Every book, its reader save the time of the reader. And fifth law is a library is a growing organism. you can see here there is a new conception now it is a conventional based conception now is a new conception first law as books are for use it in, in new conception in this current environment ebooks for learning netflix for watching blackboard is for studying second law every person his or her book every listener itunes every arts is photoshop every student or or his easy bible and third law every book its reader 
every block its reader every google map its traveler every digital repository is a researcher fourth law save the time of the reader save the time of the listener save the time of the traveler save the time of the researcher and fifth law is the library is a growing organism as you see this uh, growing organism means uh, to collect books or journals or newspapers in the college we need to have a lot of budget so the growing organism needs a budget so when we have budget we can improve by adding more and more books and more in journals into the library but nowadays we don't require that much of budget to have uh, to add or to improve to increase our collection because we are going to have a wonderful oers and we are already we have if you use if you add if you use and reuse if you continuous use if you like uh, source documents from online the library will like add added with wonderful and excellent uh, documentation documentations now we can see in the library at post covid pandemic situation all conventional libraries transformed into e libraries analog collection converted into digital analog means print collection or physical collection converted into digital and print media such as e books sorry books journals and magazines newspapers into e resources and housekeeping operations of library shifted to automation of library because we used to have a of like a record system recording system so we used to have used the books for issue returns like that issue returns and return returns and we used to maintain some inventories action registers all these are going to convert into uh, automation library or combination of a library and conventional library users became e readers there is a lot of difference now conventional library users used to have a tables chairs and books or magazines in their hand to read and space to sit but uh, because of uh, covid covid the 19 pandemic situation all conventional library users became e readers now they are going to view and from their home they are now they are going to read newspapers from their home with the help of gadgets so they are they became e readers now and e book delivery the delivery of e book uh, has been upholded and e resource databases there are two kinds of e resource and databases one is proprietary there are a lot of heroes in the i mean in the digital uh, learning centers uh, there are uh, like uh, free resources as well as proprietary proprietary means they will aggregate different kinds of uh, journals books in one platform and they will make a package and like ebsco ebsco is a proprietary and aggregator they are all aggregator they will collect uh, different kind of journals and then they bring him them into a fold of uh, ebsco and they they do pricing and they market and they supply the material annually we have to renew every day and every, sorry every year or quarterly monthly or annually this is a proprietary but in this budget uh, i mean sorry budget issues in this pandemic situation we need not need not to go for proprietary or aggregators because we are we are going to have already we have free and open source software in our hand free means limited and open means unlimited and alternate an alternative uh, to the proprietary journals and uh, or e resources there are open access e resources you can see there are a lot of databases lot of e resources and databases which are available like open education resources open access courseware and lecture notes open access books free and open access journals free open software that is fos e magazines there are there e in newspaper they are there e study materials already pre designed materials are there for our course phase as well as video lectures and tutorials they are ready, they are they are all available with us as well as academic guidance and planning we need not to worry about students in on in our web i mean online only online learning online teaching pattern only in the platform we can uh, guide them for the career so these are all free resources see you can see you can find 10 plus uh, resources which are readily available uh, in a virtual basis so what is open access what is open access we mean it's freely available on the public interest internet permitting any user to read to download copy distribute print search link to full text of these articles crawl them for indexing 
pass them as data software and or use them for any other lawful purpose this is budapest open access initiative they have taken this is called open access and open access is uh, in, in that open access only open education resources uh, developed or in initiated by oer initiated by cc of unesco uh, let us have a small video why we need open access or open education in this pandemic situation just view this video for a uh, for a while education is vital it enriches our lives sustains our communities and helps us grow into the future at least that's the idea truth is education as we know it is failing millions around the world take tando for example he's a bright kid with big dreams but the education he's getting is holding him back you see tando's school can't afford the latest learning materials so he has to work with textbooks that are completely outdated to make matters worse tando's teacher is also left using outdated information often without even realizing it and even if he manages to overcome this and gets into college the cost of all the lessons books and notes he needs will land tando in a pile of debt it's not just tando this situation is being replayed in schools and colleges all around the world so much for education for all so how can we fix things the answer lies in open education open education is a global movement that aims to bring quality education to teachers and students everywhere the basic idea is to put Hello? top notch learning materials That's on that. the web that anyone can access That's for free Just one second, sir. There's a problem with the connectivity. Education is vital. It enriches our lives, sustains our communities, and helps us grow into the future. At least that's the idea. Truth is, education as we know it is failing millions around the world. Take Tando, for example. He's a bright kid with big dreams, but the education he's getting is holding him back. But look at that. Tando school can't afford the latest learning materials. So he has to work okay. with textbooks that are completely okay, 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 outdated. To make matters worse, Tando's teacher is also left using outdated information, often without even realizing it. And even if he manages to overcome this and gets into college, the cost of all the lessons. I think video is not audible. Am I right, sir? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Video is not is not showing, sir. Ah, video video is not visible, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, yeah, just one second. The PPT has a little problem. One second. Okay, is it so visible, sir? No. Uh, okay, right? sir. Visible. Okay, sir. Visible, sir. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you very much. So we have seen these ten uh, kinds of uh, uses and ten plus we can have, and we can use this. Uh, I mean, uh, open access, 
OERs, open access books, open access journals for your research purpose. Videos related giving some problem. The term of open education resources was first coined in 2002 at a forum organized by UNESCO on open courseware in higher education. It's a wonderful thing and it is very passionate thing also, both things, because now we are in 2020. Now we are in 2020. All of these open educational resources have been emerged, started used by Westerners or uh, Europeans, these technologies. You're not in European, in some Asian countries also, but India is lacking to use uh, these resources uh, and we are backed or we are like, uh, what do you say, uh, 18 years, we are little back than the World Educational Forums uh, Development or Procedures. So anyhow, and now it's, uh, COVID has made us to learn about OERs and learn, not only learn, to teach uh, through the OER, with the help of OERs. And open OERs are uh, teaching, learning, and research materials in any medium, digital or otherwise, that resides in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permits no cost access, use, adaptation, and redistribution by others with no or limited restriction. Why I'm using this CC? Commons. Because this UNESCO has developed OERs and it has recognized different kinds of OERs uh, created by the educationists all over the world. Because in this uh, pandemic situation, uh, when we are going to use OERs from Google, which is uh, informatic, it's which informatic means it is a corrupt practice of holding uh, documents, information, irrational, uh, in, a, in a irrational way. So it which, uh, which will attract cyber laws, which will attract corporate authorities. But uh, in this OERs, which, uh, which is having license, open license, with the help of CC Commons. So if you use this kind of public domain OERs uh, licensed by UNESCO, uh, that will not uh, attract uh, copyrights and uh, cyber law. That is why all education systems, lecturers, teaching community, librarians, or students must use only uh, CC licensed OERs only. Uh, that is uh, the all those so OERs are open solutions, uh, like uh, open data they have, open access they have, and open source software they have. See, this in this OER, in India, in the world itself, I think in our college, we have UG, PG, and junior college also, we have, I think, I think, because in for intermediate level, we have wonderful OERs, uh, which are rightly available, uh, South Indian, I mean, Telangana, Andhra OERs we have already, whatever subjects you are looking for, uh, for open course where uh, you can have all PDF format material, you can find it, for example, uh, in the Andhra, you have like a uh, NOS AP, that is the open book APOS, open school system, uh, class one, two, intermediate level, you have wonderful OERs. In national level, NIOS, OERs we have. And in NIOS, again, you will have vocational courseware. In Kansas Academy, you have all international, national uh, OERs we have. And uh, like Vidya Mitra, which is initiated by internet you have all and by initiated by ncrt you have wonderful uh, like oer or platform that's patashala cbc also you have if you if you click on this link uh, you will uh, will come to know what are the documents there are available if you click if i click uh, uh, cbc see it will uh, develop uh, it uh, i mean it will take you under the window in which you have different kinds of oers already available if you go to plus two but that means uh, second years of intermediate, you have all collections in online. You need to pay one rupee, you need to pay uh, for subscriptions. All are available online and all intermediate education students, intermediate uh, teaching staff and libraries, they can hold all these documents, uh, they can open, they can use it, they can like uh, take from them and these uh, documents will not attract, never, it will not attract corporate authorities because it is lessened by uh, NSCO. At the same time, sharing problem.
Und zoom, zoom. See, and if you take NIOS also, see if you open this NIOS, you will have wonderful materials from uh, Indian level pattern. If you open NCRT, that will take you other window. And uh, in that window, you will find e-textbooks, supplementary books, event, and e-resources. In e-resources, you can have access to audios, videos, interaction, images, maps, and question banks. See, this will give more and more support to your students because students can attend classes through Zoom or in the free time, they can learn, they can open, they can prepare for exam, they can prepare for lesson planning, they can prepare for, for your quizzes, questions and answers, and they can prepare for curriculum. E, there are very much available ebooks and uh, supplementary books, events also. So it is access to access to e-resources in this. At the same time, See, like this, NIOS also, we have uh, uh, databases in uh, NIOS vocation also, we have databases in Khan Academy, which is an uh, international repute. In this also, you have wonderful material to access. If you just click on this, if you go to Khan's Academy, you will find a lot of, lot of information in all subjects from class worth to up to degree level, you can find in international curriculum, right? And uh, if you see in the open access course for higher education institution level, see, you have LPU, lovely. This is uh, you can uh, LP University. You have a wonderful e-material study materials over here. In Grand Coast, you know, you can if for degree students, you have wonderful material here, sir. If you click on here, you'll get wonderful PDF uh, uh, material, study material, video lectures of the eminent faculty and MIT open course software. It is also having wonderful open course uh, material in all subjects and open learning initiative of Cornish Milan. We have wonderful material. This is all the links. In the, if you in, if you have a link into this, then you can and you will have a uh, wonderful uh, uh, collection of uh, material. Khanem Academy again. At the same time, Vidya uh, Mitra of England. It is providing wonderful video lectures on different different uh, levels of teaching and learning. And we have wonderful tutorials also. Igno also it has to, to wonderful tutorials. Consortium for Education Communication of UGC also. You have wonderful tutorial. Tutorial. If you check, if you go to the EGDAN course for the sake of, for the sake of uh, uh, degree level or PG level for all subjects, if you click on EGDAN course, that will take you to wonderful window. See, if you click here, any subject, if you take somebody who wants to have a uh, like immunology for science students, just tap on it and just click on it. That will take you to different kinds of materials from where you can get more and more information in PDF and video format, immunology, nursing management, like that, everything. So my, my point is that, my point is that we can have a lot of material, we can have a lot of material to, to use, to reuse like that. The problem of like sharing, sir. You know, every time is stopping actually. One second, I'll take the other one. Yeah, and in open books uh, and journals, you can have directory of open access books. That is one link, and you can have free books, you can have audio books, you can have NDLI like National Digital Library Initiative of MHRD and IIT Karakpur Initiative. You can have wonderful collection in this uh, uh, database also. You can have Gurukul Patashala in that in the also a wonderful collection. And you can have wonderful collection from DOAG, Directory of Open Access Journal. And one more science journals. I think you might have uh, know about this one. Indian Academy of Sciences of Producing and Publishing wonderful e-collection. Indian Academy of Sciences, free of course you can have. We need not subscribe, 
need not to I mean, get, worry about subscription and you need not to have a budget problem also. These are all freely available collection for the sake of our academic purpose. So all science groups, science teachers, science lecturers and uh, students, they can use this collection. Just one second, sir. And newspapers also, you have a lo uh, lot of uh, e-newspapers from where you can have access to all the e-newspapers, e-magazines, as well as this, as I told you, MOOCs. Learning is very important to both, not only students, as well as faculty also. If you are using MOOCs, if you are subscribed to MOOCs, uh, you can get a lot of information, a lot of learning, a lot of uh, educational programs. Uh, from edX and about 2,900 online courses you can have in different different subjects. You need to attend the classes for the students and teachers. Uh, from IIT Mumbai also, they are providing wonderful uh, I mean, uh, program and it's YM of Government of India is initiative. It is providing wonderful and excellent material, excellent courseware, excellent learning uh, platform for all faculty members and Coursera is overseas. So in Coursera, I think you need to need to pay some kind of fees to have a, a learning from that platform. And Moodles, which is learning management systems, it is also you have to subscribe for this Moodles actually. So in Swayam, I think, and uh, IIT Mumbai, you have a lot of uh, uh, courses free of cost without uh, spending any money, but you have to spend only some time with them. That's all. And uh, IT ICT impact on LMS. As I told you that whatever we have, we need to have. Uh, some kind of minimum infrastructure to have because yeah, if we don't have minimum infrastructure in the colleges, we cannot run, we cannot adopt LMS. In the open source digital library software, we need to have minimum things. As I sir told, he listed a lot of uh, I mean, uh, requirements, but it's a minimum requirements enough to have a uh, digital library and to have an automated library and to have a OERs in our colleges in a virtual way. Uh, which can provide that uh, that the digital library software can uh, uh, perform broadly in uh, data storing, handling metadata, searching, and document delivery. Right, infrastructures for library automations uh, and digital library. For the sake of automation, we need some kinds of hand scanners and flatbed scanners. Overhead, I think in the name may not require flatbed scanner and hand scanners. We require to have a automation uh, process. And to have a, a digital hand library, we need to have, first of all, a video camera and uh, I mean, uh, our smartphones as well as digital uh, camera also. To record uh, classes, we need to have video camera. And to record or take a snap of our video, I mean, uh, uh, print, uh, print format of lectures, we need to have some kind of camera. With the help of both, we can have digital library as well as we can have an automation of library. And servers, we need tower model or rock model. And as I told you, free open source software, that is FOSS. Uh, for the sake of uh, automation purpose, there are a lot of integrated library management systems. But uh, oh, in open source, two are the best one. One is Koha and has uh, Nugent Lib. Uh, Koha is uh, developed by IIT Mumbai, which is a free, a free source software for our library uh, to have automation with the help of a few uh, technical group in your college or uh, with the help of your system admin, you can uh, download, you can uh, upload your documents and you can upload and you can use as a, a library automation software, uh, which, which which will have all modules of uh, services in your in that time. And new GenLib, another one, uh, open source software. Uh, this is also wonderful software, which are which is used by NAC, eFill, and of course, we are also using this is a Nugent Lib library software only. And this it will run, it will operate like a wonderful way. And that will only that will generate the barcode, that will generate ID card students and everything in the sake of automation purpose. But in this content, we don't have library at, uh, in our, uh, at home. We have library in the college. 
but we can't go to college to teach to give access to library but uh, in this uh, post uh, i mean uh, pandemic situation we need to have a digital library which is content management system or content management service oriented library we need to have it so we can develop that particular digital library with the help of dsmes joomla or greenstone i believe that everybody using this space if you download this space uh, it is a, it will take only minimum time and minimum uh, efforts to complete the process after completing process you can upload as sir told a faculty may develop the courseware maybe video lecture or um, uh, like a uh, 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 mpeg or jpeg or tif format or else any other format you may develop but where they are going to store that's very important because where they are going to store that's the biggest question for all libraries but if we have this space or digital library if we have they can store all their material of teachings e learning resource meeting i mean material in our this space software which can be accessible to all students in a remote way remote level a student can access with the help of our this space because librarian can develop this this kind of this space uh, uh, software this space platform for the sake of digital library with the help of this uh, digital library we the librarians teachers students can access all oers our e contents and all kinds of video lectures from this format of this space and virtual library services as i told you we with the help of this all the digital content libraries or I mean, digital libraries or automated library we can provide online lectures notes and uh, academic guidance and one more thing that how we are going to work in a virtual way that's very important no how we are going to work with the students students are sitting at home lectures are they are at home and librarians are at home all are staying at home all are moving and uh, in their own directions and they are unable to meet at one place which is called college but how we are going to run the show of this uh, uh, digital learning uh, my concern is what we are practicing that in our colleges we have developed library whatsapp groups first of all library whatsapp groups that is group wise year wise at the same time class wise subject wise we prepare librarian is of uh, like a part and parcel of uh, subject groups because when a class uh, faculty takes class in a zoom to the students or any platform webex or any other platform to the students if library is included in the group subject group you will come to know what particular faculty teaching to the students then immediately with the help of oers you will search you will procure material required material relevant material at the end only you will post that material that is called selective dissemination of information in our term uh, that uh, material will be posted to that group immediately for example a faculty is taking class on uh, national income if he starts by start, uh, giving lecture to the class uh, in the online class the faculty with the help of faculty the librarian he can source relevant study material e material or uh, what do you say video lecture audio lectures everything he will source it from the oers and he will post that material material to the group so that faculty after completing uh, faculty is teaching then this particular uh, supported document will help students and faculty because this is going to happen in a triangular way triangular way we are going to work we are working also and we to we library uh, should have youtube channels because all faculty members can post their youtube uh, their video lectures through the youtube or if they have library uh, oriented or library in library platform youtube channel if they have definitely that students can access uh, video lectures to this youtube channels at the same time librarians should have their own platforms not only college the librarian should have their own platforms they are supposed to create a blogs they are supposed to create a web note they are supposed to create google sites because if, if they are very good with the google site they have to have their own blog either with blog or with the uh, web note or else in google site with the help of google sites or with the help of blogs only you can have complete information at one place so that from, from, from the one place only from the one blog only the librarian can uh, provide useful informative services by having useful links in their blogs and conducting webinars librarian 
must conduct webinars with the help of the support of the cdc college development committee and the, with the coordination of the permission of the principal sub and the, uh, our elders we have to conduct webinars so that students should know what we have in our blogs what we have in our i mean sites what we have let us update information uh, in the academic uh, scenario so librarian duty is every day he has to get update information he are is supposed to keep all the update information uh, in the blogs at the same time you should give a links to the students and you should update students and faculty uh, hold the curriculum here so he has to conduct uh, webinars in the webinar only he can uh, explain what's happening uh, in the uh, subject wise uh, developments at the same time classes on intermediate literacy i told you know in the webinar only librarian is supposed to conduct intermediate literacy classes so that students and faculty members get updated information and he uh, can teach or students uh, faculty can teach uh, their intermediate literacy through uh, google classrooms zooms and webex and skypes so with the help of this platform this is very much useful to them and this is my uh, i have developed them our college uh, site with the help of uh, google this is tara learning resource center this is a library block of tara government degree college sangaradi telangana so this is my blog i have developed and in that uh, in this uh, uh, blog you will have all information in one shot uh, if you give time i'll just take you a tour into this blog so that you can have a proper understanding this i'm going to click and we are going to enter into my blog so that a librarian if they have blog this is become a uh, platform for all educational uh, open access educational resources open access software open access every information career planning every information for, a, for example if i take you to home that will give you about my library and india press consortium will have and india gown portal in that you will have complete information about india and and if you take to e content as i told e content development this is the e contents only e content from e content of uh, igno e gnan kosh lp study material vidya mitra vidya mitra youtube there's video lectures igno video lectures bear ambedkar open city video lectures natural uh, lectures and iit mumbai tutorials and uh, you can see lot of swayam course vera consortium shod ganga and if you go to statistics also we have lot of uh, see like this if i take you to school of statistics that will take you to wonderful site where statistical students ha can have ebooks study materials tutorials softwares and career planning and uh, they can have all solutions in this platform at the same time he, 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 in the for the sake of uh, after completing the graduation what is the career planning we can have a uh, link over here question papers of all universities we can that can, that can have uh, all useful links in this uh, uh, like a um, platform and uh, you can have all uh, uh, entrance exams details and uh, old pg questions as well as e resources there are a lot of videos as you can see n list already we have an n list i think how many are using i don't know but if faculty uses n list day on day every day they will get updated information they will be perfectly good in the classroom successful in classroom on online and it is the link for e journals e and these are all links for e resources this much of e resources links in we have in our library and uh, audio books also we have uh, like uh, you can see audio book in links also we top free books databases open culture audio book uh, link again and in india audio book for example I take you to audio india see these are audio india collections example these are all free only you need not to buy need not to do anything they are all more, almost all free only you can have all audio collections from here and career planning you can see a lot of career planning so here a student after completing his graduation what will planning see we have all portals uh, useful links here over here upsc upsc e materials and uh, telangana employment is the, the, our our concern and uh, banking exams here staff selection commission sambandhich uh, related uh, materials over here and uh, recruitment rail recruitment board uh, details so is over here and employment news ncert books cbsc 
and if you click implement is over here you will have a lot of material in, in india or english whatever it is there so like that see so we have to update students in all way and update our faculty in all directions so that our college our curriculum should go on and this should not get stopped covid 19 give a new direction new understanding new like a, a blended learning uh, values and at the same time we are going to learn ethically value based teachings and learning nowadays because if we because um, uh, without having this kind of uh, men uh, uh, situations i think uh, we are like handicapped because we are just uh, based on only syllabus based teaching but uh, this covid 19 showed us not only syllabus based teaching you have to give overall information overall understanding overall learning overall information to the student in online classrooms so otherwise uh, um, we are one second on the data is there i want to show you how many are using this uh, digital of india ndl is a really wonderful da database i think everybody knows about this ndl but in this ndl you have lot of lot of information if you use you will get it you will uh, learn you will get more empowered with the learning so if you use ndl is a wonderful uh, database my concern is very simple that librarians teaching staff should have equal at understanding about learning equal understanding about uh, uh, um, updating information and equal understanding of improving students in our careers so i feel that my time is up or sir hello okay hello? sir okay thank you. thank you sir is it okay sir hello, hello? okay sir okay oh sir okay, okay sir okay thank you very much hello i think uh, i need lot of time but uh, i think uh, subject is very vast and big and thank you very much gopal sir uh, for giving oh, okay, the opportunity sir. and thank you very much for the college management committee and the patrons of our college thank you so much sir oh. thank you sir uh, over to dr ganjewar sir thank you professor k vidya sagar uh, vidya sagar sir for your excellent presentation now we will move towards the last uh, but not the least uh, presentation by dr dattatre kalbande sir dr dattatre kalbande sir is the librarian in sadubula education societies jw sadubela girls college ullasnagar mumbai maharashtra his topic of presentation is digital footprint for the personal branding in digital society Dr Dattatre Karbande sir is a renowned personality in uh, the field of library science and he has been awarded uh, many uh, prestigious awards by Hyderabad Librarians Association and Karnataka Librarians Association he has to his credit eight books and he also has to his credit more than 80 research papers so may i take this opportunity to invite uh, professor dr dattatre karbande sir to give your uh, presentation with the delegates dr dattatre kalbande sir uh thank you very much i hope my uh, audio is clear uh, yes sir please continue okay okay thank you so uh, good afternoon to all of you first i would like to wish to my all gurus uh, wish you very happy guru purnima and today uh, my first Uh, teacher i can say from the 11 plus that is the uh, dr bhumre sir uh, is the chief uh, uh, guest or i can say the uh, uh, here and uh, in front of him i am giving my first presentation so really this is a very good uh, opportunity to, to me or i can say the this is the best gift given by to me by gopal sagar sir and his team particularly today's uh, 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 here chief guest honorable dr Uh, Shivdas Shirsat sir, chief organizing and principal of the college, Dr. Digam Bariyan Gunjewar sir, he is the coordinator of this webinar, and all the team of MSP 
मंडल आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज के लडारू डिस्ट्रिक्ट बीड एक्चुअली द थीम ऑफ दिस वेबिनार इज वेरी रिलेवेंट ऑफ द करंट सिचुएशन दैट इज द कोविड 19 एंड बोथ द रिसोर्स पर्सन हैज बीन इलैबोरेटेड द व्हाट इज द सिचुएशन एंड व्हिच प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर फेसिंग इन द पर्टिकुलरली टीचिंग फैकल्टी एंड द लैबोरेटरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस प्रोफेशनल्स बट वन थिंग आई वांट टू हियर से दैट द नाउ अडेज व्हाट हैपन टीचर्स एंड ऑल द टीचिंग स्टूडेंट्स और द लर्नर्स हैज बीन डूइंग समथिंग न्यू ऑन द डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म बट व्हाट हैपन आफ्टर द क्रिएटिंग योर डिजिटल वीडियोस और ई कंटेंट दैट इज द समटाइम powerpoint presentation sometime you can say the your video sometime you can say the your audio related to the your curriculum or the any particular topic which you want to elaborate of to the your students but what happen after that creating one thing you will be remember that most of the uh, uh, participants or tc teachers have one question related that the how can we develop our content there is an n number of way and both the team the keynote speaker as well as the uh a research person has been elaborated which things you can use for the creating that uh, much uh, content related to the, your targeted audience or you can say to your students that is the one important part or one important instrument that is the mobile with the help of mobile you can do each and everything even kind master version and one and the software open source software i can say or you can use with the help of your play store and download it and you can create some small small the videos related to the your topic and all these things but after that what you can do how can you can um, uh, show your content to the your uh, students or your related target audience and one thing you will be remember that what happen when teacher and students will be met in the classroom that time what happen the students will be directly see to the uh, teachers and they will be get the with the blackboard and with the powerpoint presentation they will be get the whatever teaching will be going to deliver in their speech but now it is what happened the uh, uh, you can say the parents also assess to the teachers and this is the very big problem now you can say in the mumbai region um, one my colleague or one eminent personality says that the most of the teachers have uh, fear about their job because now it is what happened the teaching and learning in the teaching and learning process the parents also assess to the students what he can teach how he can talk and what what about his pronunciation which things he will be uh, teach to the students and most of the parents also teachers so they can see how you can deliver the speech and how can you deliver the content and how can you will be clear the students concept so this is a very big problem nowadays with the this covid 19 situation so uh, uh, like that for this purpose there is a need to some follow the ethics and some platform to the develop our e content or or to show the content or digitally available yourself also or you, you can create your digital uh, footprint is the most important or essential part uh, i can say in this covid 19 situation so regarding that i will be give my presentation so first uh, let me uh, share my uh, slide okay so what is the actually academic footprint or what is the academic uh, digital footprint you can say that is the uh, academic fruit is footprint is nothing but in the you can say in the academic free, uh, field that is the uh, how many papers you have how many you were impact on the your research how many citations you have what is the your h index and on the basis of that you can say what is the your academic footprint and you have very digi very powerful footprint on the internet or like that one thing uh, uh, regarding that the one uh, in the earlier or my slide i want to uh, uh, clear that the, there is an uh, so many teachers and um, teachers as well as the librarians who publish their papers in the various journals after that what happen these publications will be go to the index in the research databases like web of science corpus and google scholars or pubmed like that for the medical science fields and others so like that after that what happen these databases will be assessed with the reference management softwares like the refworks and other zotero like that and after that they will be count your citations and current uh, on the basis of your citations and 
current publications list or you will be count your h index i10 index and like that so what happened in the nac process or in the your academic field there can very important part is that for your research or your quality research as well as your citations and your h index next part an important part which i want to cover in this my presentation that is the personal branding now i have said that what happen nowadays you can say in the our uh, teaching room also or in the library and uh, in the library also you can say one out of the uh, almost staff one staff member is very much familiar or you can say the students will be like to him in uh, uh, particularly for why you can say that he will be create the, his brand or his image in the students that is the positively he will be care of the students he will be elaborate the concept uh, uh, very nicely or innovatively you can say and second thing is that the, in the concern of library when students will become the particular staff will be help to each and every students very politely and with the smile of the space that time what happened he will be create his uh, image uh, in the uh, their students is a very popular like that and students also love to him or her for that kind person or for that kind uh, services in the branding you can say that the, the in this image you can see almost the uh, characteristics has been covered like the economy target experience and your slogan sometime image sometime your media management corporate even your quality research your uh, promotion strategy your brand your logo and all these things so these all the concepts is and very much important or you can say the essential in this pandemic situation to the teachers when we are going to the uh, visually in front of the students as well as to the parents and into your candle um, see this image you can see there is a two water bottle one is an with the uh, bisleri another is a mineral water but when we are going to in the shop always we will be say give me a mineral bottle that time if shopkeeper will be offered to you without stickers but with original water or you can say the mineral water or the uh, filter water and another bottle is having with sticker but this is a simple water but definitely i am sure each and every one will be prefer uh, bottle with the stickers because the bisleri have their own brand and on the basis of brand we can offer uh, or we can purchase no i want this bottle only so in like this you can say in the, our teaching fraternity also the brand is very much important what happened nowadays you can see in the maharashtra concern you can see when veer sir or when um, uh, dr uh, kumar sir is delivering the lecture so there is and they have created their brand particularly delivering the speech and um, elaborating the concept to the library and information science uh, professionals as well as to the other staff members so definitely the audience will be uh, take care about them and they will be uh, uh, nowadays very much famous one thing i would like to say that when you are going to uh, in the digitally then why people will be care of you first i would suggest that some questions you should be asked to yourself that is the what do you do better than the universes hum dusro se jyada kya acha kar sakte hai ye humne dekhna chahiye if you liye to award nahi diya jata hai lekin particularly aapko hi kyun diya jata hai to ye bhi cheeze humne wahan pe particularly dekhni chahiye particularly humne dekhne chahiye what unique integrates you have contributed to everything uh, you job and what you would be to the missing if you are not the part of that meeting or that part of the event like that on when you will be feel to the most confident and and most important part is that the how people will be uh, uh, introduced to you others in your absence this is the most important pra- uh, part when we are going to create our brand and i can say Uh, people will be never with if your brand is and very good or you are digital footprint and uh, uh, effective then people will be definitely say about you something you will be feel proud or our profession will be full proud feel proud like that then we are thinking about the digital branding or digital creation of the digital brand that time you have to need some uh, follow the some instructions like that make a statement exactly once you are clear about the your brand distill into the statement that describes 
uh, first authentic to you and what uh, separates you will be your peers and what makes you relevant to your target audience earlier i have said like that and even uh, make sure that the brand is relevant for today and position you for where you want to be tomorrow there is an aspiration aspect to the all brands so evaluate your brand statement through that uh, lens when you are achieve clarity about your brand you can tell the story which is the most effective to attract engage and charm the people who uh, need to know you and can achieve your goals your story has many forms start with two of most important that is the real world elevators your elevator and your uh, uh, bio if you can see in the when you are going to create your digital uh, profile there is a need to create your elevator piece is essential for the connecting and uh, loops you met it should be brilliant not boring starting with your name title and institute puts uh, you at the boring end of the scale telling people a little more about you and move you closer to the brilliant remember one thing that you must refine your piece to make uh, uh, it relevant for each scenario or persons you encounter another part is then your bio data I, I know each and every each and every professional how their bio data or uh, resume uh, uh, their resume so people can see with your resume and they can analyze with the help of your resume like that but what happened when you are creating your bio data that time and your bio is then very much essential tool for the career and more important than your resume is the place where you tell your story your name is a, a proof document that confirms that uh, you say about yourself second part is that your bio is and a view uh, when you uh, aren't there it is a powerful tool for connecting with the people emotionally when you know how to craft it after accessing or after creating your elevator pitch and your bio data it is time to move uh, your uh, profile and online first thing is that assess the digital I can say nowadays what happen people will be first to whatever information you want suppose which mobile phones is and uh, nowadays on top 10 so you will be go for the google answer which mobile is then under top 10 like that so people first when you will be anybody will suggest your name or uh, the some kind of uh, information or some kind of help so people first will be searched to you uh, on google i can say they will be uh, surfing or he will be served to you on uh, google or on other platform that is the on other uh, you can say the yahoo or being or uh, uh, that, that go like that and then people will be see the which pop-ups will be they will be get about you and after that they will be measure of your online is and your online is particularly they will be evaluated on the five uh, major eleven uh, you can see characteristic that is the first one is an volume how much of the content uh, is about you this is the most important part what happen nowadays if you are searching some eminent personality on the google like the dr ap abdul kalam that time i will see the end thousands of the pages will be available like their images videos their speeches their books their lectures and, uh, and like that their articles and like that so what happened nowadays what happened that people researchers also searching to you on digitally the my teacher is uh, which type of content available on google so they will be directly search on you in google that time you will be get the more and more information or more and more purpose to them related them their information another part is then relevance how consistent uh, is the content is this is the most important part when any, any scientist or any library information science professionals will be searched to you on google and he will be find that the some information available on your profile that is the marathi literature or english literature that time the relevance will be can't match with your profession or your job so take care about that which content you are going to upload on your profile another thing and purity this is the most important part when you want to create your digital brand online that time you will be need to care of the uh, purity of the content which uh, um, the results are about you versus others who share your name i earlier i was said that so um, clear that the purity should be in your uh, readers another part is diversity do your readers include multimedia for example images videos or the or text you can say nowadays what happened the when you are deliver our speech on the uh, powerpoint presentation that time that always we can say our teacher will say the one image can say more than thousand words like that so 
when people will be search you on digitally that time they will be get the, some images some videos some text also so diversity should be maintained another most important part is that then validation do you result include testimonials and recommendation hours etc nowadays what happen people are creating their uh, profile online on digital platform and they will be sharing some fake news or fake, fake information or fake videos that time what happen people will be confused about you so for the validation you have to need to some uh, put your testimonials or recommendations or hours so people will be trust on you Another one part you can see that your goal is to make a uh, uh, sure when someone checks out your Google results, he meets the same person like was standing in front of him. To say, uh, to stay on top of the your web results, uh, set up a Google alerts like that so people can when they your related information will be available on Google. So definitely you will be get with the help of Google alert. You can get the information which type of uh you can say the uh, results are available and which type of the updates are available on my platform uh, on my profile another is and make your mantra see personal branding especially digital branding is not about you and it is about you seek to engage and influence the most effective approach is to deliver value to those people with uh, everything you and you don't dear yourself to people by just pounding or asking for things you earn their attention by knowing them, understanding what they value and generously giving it to them with a genuine desire to help. There are three ways to accomplish uh, this first one and provide the valuable information or the knowledge. Don't put anything nowadays. What happened? People, uh, uh, people will be sharing some TikTok videos or like that and your students will be seeing what teacher will be doing and what is this. So sometimes what happened? Your image should be down, get the down in the uh, your uh, students the teacher will be what he can say singing song and like that if your target audience is and tiktok users then definitely will be do the same thing but if your target audience or your profile visitors are the students or the learners or the scientists that time you uh, you can say the social media account another thing and i, I interact with other social media actually there is a very good functionality about that the, discussion is actually social media we are using for the discussion with each other and sharing our uh, views or knowledge to the between with others or professionals or the our professional colleagues or their friend uh, circle that time what happened you can interact with them don't uh, it is not for a place for the monologue actually engage with the other people and make relation with them uh, ultimately build your brand with your targeted the audience another important part is the you actually Dena Jobi hai wo a both important part hai give means the best way to build actually a relationship with your experts or your seniors or you can say the those who are eminent personality in your concern area like social science or the economics or the English or the whatever it may be as per the related your field. So like other people's content, thank those who share the knowledgeable post on their uh, uh, profile and that post will be useful to you or your members or your sometimes your students what happen nowadays one teacher has been created their video related to the politics or situation current situation of the china and india related to the war or related to the covid and what is the impact of that if that post or that video will be very much important or new things that you will be learn, learn so you will be said to thanks to him and share that video or that lecture with your students so definitely they will be get the uh, uh, you can say the benefit from the uh, that particular post digital branding here you can uh, say that or you can stay that the uh, and it is will have a major impact on your ability to achieve your goals start with your personal brand and then translate it into the bits and bytes watching uh, your career circle every step to the way and this is the most important part when we are nowadays we are doing something better or we are trying to doing something uh, good for the our students and sharing something the information between the our uh, targeted audience another part is then how to scrub uh, your identity online this is the most important part when see nowadays what happened each and everyone going to create their profile on the uh, YouTube uh, for the delivering the lectures in the uh, live streaming or nowadays what happens some people are using those platform are available online for sharing contents with the students some teachers are doing very good uh, on the blogs like that earlier also sir has been uh, 
विद्यासागर सर सेट दैट विच प्लेटफॉर्म आर अवेलेबल लाइक दैट सो इफ पीपल मेक फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन ऑफ यू ऑनलाइन बिफोर दे इवन मीट टू यू फेस टू फेस व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन योर रेपुटेशन हैज अ फ्यू अनडिजायरेबल फीचर्स लाइक दैट आई इवन यू कैन से समटाइम व्हाट हैपेंस मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल्स आर क्रिएटिंग नाउ अ डेज फेक आईडीज और फेक प्रोफाइल Uh, with the X Y Z name or the duplicate name, they are using any name. Uh, actually, the people are doing their business, but sometimes what happen? If unfortunately, I my name will be there, and if I will be, uh, anyone search on me on Google, and that time I will get some like that. Those uh, post uh, for the my reputation damaging post should be available on my platform, fake platform. That time what happen? People will be. Uh, Feel the awkwardness, and your students will be. You can lose your, you can say the trust. Uh, whatever students with on have on uh, you, that time what happen? If such type of cases will be happen, so first you will be go to the uh, uh, Google for search yourself, and uh, uh, with the help of Google or Yahoo or you can say DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is a very good. I can say search engine. With the help of Doctor Go, you will be get exact information about you. Uh, instead of the Google, what happened now? What is if I will be searching uh, Kalbande duty? Then which uh, those persons have Kalbande surname from the all over world? The Google will be uh, say uh, searching or showing pop-ups like that. But what happened you? If you will be go for the Google Doctor Go, they will be search exact result related to the, your profile or your content. Sometimes what happen nowadays? People are ta uh, tagging to you. Uh, on social media, some uh, wrong post or you can say some fake post. That time, what happened? The you will be get with some trouble. That time, one features very good features available in the social media that is untagging. We use untag and uh, in the Google, uh, sorry, in the Facebook or on uh, on uh, in the uh, your Twitter account, even your, your LinkedIn account or your those platform you have used for the sharing information with your targeted audience. So use. That features for the sharing knowledgeable post or the authentic post. Another one is privatize your Facebook. Sometimes nowadays, what happens? People or teacher will be sharing some uh, family photos or some um, you can say the tour photos or some bachelor photos, whatever it may be. That time, what happens? Students or uh, particularly for some time, the uh, girl students will be feel something. You can say the uh, awkward on your with your profile. That time you know, nowadays what happen? We are doing so most of the lectures uh, live on the Facebook. That time you have to need to do your profile privatize and whatever photos you want to show for only for your particular friends or for your particular for yourself. That time you can make it privatize and those posts need to be available for the publicly. You can do that post for the publicly uh, available. Another one important part you can delete the appropriate post. What happened earlier? I have said that the most of the post sometimes you will be get the inappropriate uh, appropriate post on your profile when people will be searching to you on Google. Now that thought happened, you can see about that the uh, those private word or you can say the commercial word that time what happened when you are going to the apply. In any company or foreign, the people will be searching to on you on your social media accounts or your which pop-ups you will be get on Google like that. And after that, they will decide how your personality is having and what is your behavior like that. That time, what happen? Most of the people or some people say this is a real example. Most of the people lose their job or opportunity to get the uh, uh, job in the foreign with, with the because of the this size type of an inappropriate post on their profile. So. Take care about that when we are sharing such type of post or available such post on your on our profile. Next one is about the that if you cannot get all the wrong material link to the yourself and most of the point what happened now we don't have about the much more information about this type of information available on Google and you can say most of the people are searching on the first page actually when we are uh, put the any keyword on Google search at that time we will be actually stick up with the first page and you know the first page of the Google get the 95 percent of the search traffic whereas the second page only gets the five percent so start with your expertise and professional post insights like the LinkedIn and answer questions on Quora if you are a good photographer that time you will be go for the clickers and start a blog or a, uh, or have a colleague 
write blogs and article about you so uh, and these points has been mentioned by the uh, by the lisa spinal he is he can get to the content manager from the career development digital brand uh, uh, update exactly after the uh, all this information or all these precautions you, now uh, uh, there can need to be the digital brand update first you should be be grateful to remember the nine actions you should complete uh, at least monthly to build your digital profile or digital brand first one is an poster think uh, uh, of one thing you have to accomplish or learn that you can use to enhance your digital profile for example adding an accomplishment of the linkedin sharing something you learn with your colleagues your professionals your seniors or your students also so like that you can do the most another one is an give commit to at least one monthly act of uh, digital kindness and nowadays what happened teacher should be or librarian should be um, uh, actually uh, need to be active on your their profile in this covid 19 situation refine update your bios when get shots or review them to make sure uh, they are still accurate and make minor edit edit uh, edits or uh, requirements so that uh, are they up to date what happened nowadays if uh, i have to create one my profile on facebook or linkedin that time what happen i never will be refine to that but there is a need to refine time to time when will they get something uh, achievements or you will be some uh, greater uh, you can say the award sometime what happen you will be get the, uh, uh, some another degree uh, like that or education act take social action like comment on uh, share at least three posts from the colleagues or connections with uh, those who you uh, have on your social media connect with the people those people are uh, meet uh, or those people have friends with you or those people have human and personality from your related subject or your related uh, targeted audience so you will be get the with the connection of these per, per people you can get the current information like that in the concern of this webinar team how to develop the content and how to upload my videos on youtube and how to join zoom even uh, how to um, create and uh, classroom uh, google classroom like that so these things should be need to be for the improvement of our knowledge and get the updated information there is a need to connect another one is important uh, you can say the action is that the user google yourself and our set of google alerts there is an one very good uh, you can say the uh, platform available that is the google alert facility provided by the free of cost by the google so understand you, with the help of google alerts you can understand what changes have occurred to your online profile paying uh, close attention to the first three pages of the results earlier those i have mentioned that so you will be get that the, the actual people will be searching to uh, you on one to three pages of the google so that time google should be get relevant uh, pop-ups with your profile so take care about that another one is just follow nowadays what happened we are following most of the papers are using twitter and on the twitter we are following to the uh, human and personalities from, from the political area from the film industry from the education from the scientist or uh, other than from the you can say the poet like that so follow which hashtags you want to information current information about that on your social media so follow uh, create one or two hashtags related to your uh, you can say the feed update so another one is an update send a brief update to your connections or follower followers commit to at uh, least one posting monthly in each of your social media accounts and another one is and most important part and learn actually we are learning each and every day related to the uh, you can say uh, new concept and new, new teacher fraternity also are the researchers also they we are always learning something about the new related to their exams or related to their curriculum or we are uh, learning about our profession these things are new coming in our uh, you can say the uh, uh, existence of the our profession first when you are going to create, want to create your digital profile or digital brand that time need to start with the linkedin because linkedin is very much powerful tool related to the connection with the your professional fellows or you can say your network you can create even you can create some 
uh, alerts related to the jobs with the help of LinkedIn. Even nowadays, what happened, LinkedIn providing the very much good uh, certificate courses for the learning with the help of some uh, premium subscription like that. But uh, if you don't want to go for the premium subscription, that time those facilities are available free. Of course, you can uh, use this platform for the sharing the content, sharing videos, or writing articles, or some sharing informative post, uh, photos to the students and add to them in your, uh, you can say the network and they will be get automatically information which you have to share on your LinkedIn account. Nowadays, what happened in the particular concern to the Indian scenario? Nowadays, most of the people are using, uh, as per the, my uh, opinion or, or the, my the, research those who have, i have to study related for this presentation most of the people are using uh, you can say the facebook instead of the linkedin but in the foreign countries compared to the foreign countries they are um, most of the uh, professionals fellows are using linkedin for the sharing their information or sharing their updates or connecting with the professionals or their targeted audience so we have to need to uh, use linkedin and with the help of linkedin i earlier i have said that you are you and you can write some post you can write share the videos you can uh, post the your articles you can post the pdf or related powerpoint presentation also you can share with the help of the linkedin even you can uh, connect with the uh, people for the messaging and all like that See, this is add one important uh, platform available nowadays online. You and you can anybody can register and you can get like you can say as a library and information science professionals. So we know about that the journal have ISSN number, even book have ISBN number with the, some 10 digit or 13 digit like that. The same or orchid ID will be very much important for the when people are searching on you Google or when you are going to publish your research papers on the web of science or some time of Scopus index journals, those journals uh, nowadays uh, uh, UGC or uh, you can say UGC care listed journals on that is the most important part nowadays for the teaching uh, profession. So like that for the what happened, why Archie ID or why our digital identification number is required for the each and every profession because most of the in Indian scenario or in the foreign scenario also most of the participants or most of the researchers have same name so that time what happened how can internet or how can digital platform will be assist to you you are the doctor Tattadre Kalbande and another or Kalbande DT maybe Kalbande DT there is an n number of Kalbande DT available uh, in uh, India or in the Maharashtra so that time Particularly, Kalbande, who is the Kalbande DT for uh, digitally assessing their can need to subscribe of uh, identification number. So, I request to each and every participant from the, you know, not only from the library and information science, but those teachers are from the other fields like English or like uh, political science or science or social science or information or technology or like that engineering. They will be create their account on uh, ORCID platform and even on on the archive uh, platform you can uh, export your publications from the google scholar and even you can create your biography also you can uh, upload your all the books uh, uh, bibliographic details related to the books and you can count your citations and all these another in a google scholar actually almost the participants are familiar with the google scholar and nowadays with the uh, concern of the NAC, each and every uh, teacher uh, particularly I am proud to say that the uh, science faculty are very much aware about this platform and they are regularly using this platform in, as a, compared to the social sciences but what happened with the help of Google Scholar you can get the very scholarly articles those are published in the by the various research um, research uh, research persons or the researchers on their uh, various journals, uh, scholarly journals particularly. Even you can count your citations, each index, right and index, even which journals you have to most citations. And with the uh, earlier also I have said with the introduction that is the Google Scholar citations is the most important part for creating your digital profile or digital footprint. Nowadays what happened the UGC and other platforms are uh, 
particularly for the publication they have recommended to the publish with the scopus index journals or indian citation index journals or you can say the social science citation index journal that time what happened how can publish particularly science field teachers uh, very well known about this platform but what happened about the uh, regional language papers and those uh, have social science fields they have put, actually they have very good literature they have very um, good uh, write up on their uh, related to their marathi or their english or hindi or kannada like that but what happened about that the scopus uh, publications and this concept has come into the force last four to five years and after that you can see the science field have very good uh, renown uh, in this uh, you can say field uh, concerned to the h index citations like that compared to the social science but now i need to they come on the uh, forward social science professionals and do the something on the uh, scopus index journals and for that purpose you have to need create your profile on scopus and that time you will be get the how many document are available in the scopus index journals what is your h index how many downloads you have and how many citations you have like that and uh, you your profile also people can see with the help of scopus identifier because this is then nowadays what happened in the teaching field scopus pub publication in the scopus or the indian science citation index this is then one thing like and prestigious field filling the prestigious in your community so take care about that and uh, regarding that you have to need create your profile on the scopus identifier another region researcher id this is also one very good platform provided by the clarity uh, clarity weight analytics and this is also one you can get the one id related to the web of science when you are going to publish on the web of science that time there is a need to research side this is also same thing you can uh, create your badges collaboration of your networks and citing articles and few publications citation matrix these things you can uh, do easily with the help of this researcher's id and people also can search you or when you are going to publish your paper on the scopus index or web of science index uh, uh journal that time they will be definitely asked to you please insert your researcher's id so definitely they will be get about you information authentically who is you and uh, what is your profile like that another is and uh, uh, academia.edu actually academia.edu also sometime this is also need to premium subscription but for the uploading your content uh, uh, for visibility of your content to the other research, uh, researchers or your uh, uh, students this is a very good platform to upload your uh, all the uh, you can say powerpoint presentation you can upload your word file you can upload your notes you can upload your research articles and all these things you can upload with the help of academia.edu and uh, i proudly say that 75 million people are using this platform from the world all over the worldwide and you can get the analytics related how many people are downloaded your research papers who can see from which country from which state from which place this type of information you can get with the help of academia their video and nowadays what happened you can see if any one suppose i am from the killed haru this is actually from the remote area of the maharashtra and if any one person has been accessing my research papers from the australia from sitting over the sydney that time definitely i will be, feel something positive or i i can say feel something proud uh, the my uh, some uh, or the uh, digitally those persons have made my related to the my research papers and they will be taking care about uh, that and they will be citing my paper so like that even you can get monthly analytics you can get uh, uh, yearly analytics and if you have premium subscription that you can create your website also with the help of uh, this academia.edu and you can get more and more information related to your users and your you can say the viewers or downloads like that another platform and one important thing i want to share here that related to academia.edu that is the when you are uploading your uh, uh, paper that time those persons have uh, related the research or they they have published related that paper like for example centometric analysis and if any person have 
their profile on uh, academia.edu and he is from uh, Bangladesh. That time what happened, if I will be upload my paper, so definitely he will be get the uh, notification related uh, XYZ person has published the paper related to psychometric analysis and you can get directly that link. So that time also you can get, uh, uh, you can say the uh, current awareness service for the uh, with the help of this academia.edu you can get and second thing is that those people are doing research or the phd nowadays they have to need to search various databases related there uh, you can say uh, phd topics so that time you have to only simple way there is then to create your uh, profile on academia.edu and um, put the keywords related of your research or your research area that time definitely you will be get those uh, uploaded those uh, research per, those uh, researchers uploading their papers on academia.edu definitely will be get automatically on your profile that time on your mail that time what happened you have to know need to go for academia.edu or searching any particular journals or databases definitely you will be get the information uh, instantly on your account Another one, most important uh, platform is the ResearchGate. ResearchGate also, you, have, you can log in, you can create your profile and this is also uh, some, uh, some parties and subscription bus. But uh, for sharing your info, uh, knowledge or for sharing your publication, there is a no need to, you can say the uh, subscription uh, account, you can only join with the free, with the help of Google account or the Facebook even also, you can join with the, uh, research get and upload your publications one you one you can one important features is there related to questions and answer if you have any questions related to the how to develop the content in this pandemic situation definitely the research research those researchers are available on the research get from the worldwide they will be give information about that or solution or answers to the your questions even you can ask the questions related to your um, curriculum or your concepts those you don't have clear about that even you can create your introduction and you can count your nowadays what happened if i am publishing more than 80 papers so if nobody is using to them nobody is uh, reading to them so what is the purpose of that and why i have created that uh, that uh, that much content this is the most important kind of nowadays this is the age and information technological age you can say and open access is particularly even you can say uh, in the past years more than the 15 or 10 years back when you any researchers want to see the NPD they said that time you have to need to go to the library then take the permission from the library and he also watching to your like and uh, Hitler he why you are uh, need to this um, research thesis and I can't provide you even only you can read uh, I can't provide to you you can say the uh, photocopy of particular chapter or one to the represent but nowadays what happened worldwide paid thesis or research doctoral research are available in open accessly and people are access, accessing them to full text on the with the help of short ganga and NDMTT. like that n number of each and every country have separate platforms for the uh, worldwide and you can access those researchers so think about that when you are creating something innovative research that time you have to need uh, to show the or uh, visible to need to uh, uh, create and visible to the your uh, related researchers or the, your students another one is that the personal website or you can create your google sites for the nowadays what happened most of the people thinking about that if my paper has been published on uh, you can say in the conference proceeding and most of the conference proceeding available in printable form that time they want to uh, put this research papers on uh, digitally available so you can create your personal website with the help of site.com or google sites and n number of uh, uh, even wordpress also open access platform also available for and even you can see you with the help of google site or big site there can very easily anybody from marathi a teacher also even you can say one article has been published nowadays in uh, four to five days back on newspaper that is the um uh, teachers doing something you know with related to their students someone has been created website someone has been developed app, app someone has been delivering the lectures with the help of the google classroom someone uh, doing 
uh, with the help of mobile la, la, even google meet like that so you can also uh, we can also uh, do such type of things in your related to the visible your publications you want you can um, write up your about you or your education your experience your research your publications even if you want to uh, upload your media like uh, official photos sometimes uh, related to the, your research photos so you can create your uh, own profile or you can say the website and upload whatever you want related to with you you want contact with so people definitely all the information related to you or your research or your publication they will get on a single platform for that purpose even you can say nowadays what happen in the next process your college website is a very much essential part like that when people are searching on you digitally when people are assisting to you on digitally that time you you will be show or you will be develop your website definitely they will be get the all information related to you on a single platform another we need a blogs these blogs has been created by the uh, information scientists from the dr baba sahib ambedkar marathwada university gajanan kiste uh, sir and he he is doing very i can say the great efforts for the updating day to day today he is sharing some information or related literature related to the Uh, guru purnima on his black just some few uh, minutes ago and you can say uh, what happened nowadays if you can get the instant information or ready made information definitely uh, the people are want or your uh, users are want the ready made information that time you can uh, with the help of blogs you can uh, uh, share information with your targeted audience or your students and you can write a blog is nothing but and you can say the online journal day wise or week wise you can upload your updates and people can get uh, uh, whatever you have uploaded they can get the notifications when they will be followed to you and blog is a very powerful tool for the sharing information but you can say most of the people are using blog for sharing uh, for sharing poets and those have very eminent authors they also uh, have blogs for sharing related to concern issues related to the their field or their expertise and they are sharing on the blog so teacher also use blogs for the purpose of the teaching and learning for sharing information to the students and blog is a very powerful tool another one is an institutional repository or for the concern of the library and information science elis repository but uh, i think there is a very um, participants from the various fields like the uh, social science science and all this so they can also use the institution even institution has most of the colleges have their own institutional repository so people can upload their related to the, their subject they can upload the notes or you can say the if you can see the epg partshala epg partshala what they are doing they are uploading the notes related to to the chapter wise uh, and related to the subject on that platform and, and that platform is available for the uh, all over the india for the, uh, the pg and ugt students so like that you can create your institutional repository upload those content you want to show for the students related to their uh, curriculum or the extra curriculum activities so uh, like photograph some nowadays what happened the uh, newspaper articles also very much important related to the political science students so you can upload that article also on the your institutional repository and they can get the uh, information any time any anywhere from the anywhere students can access your ir in the concern of elis library and information yes, science thank hello yes yes, yes. i will be finished within uh, 10 minutes okay another one is on problems you can create your profile on problems so definitely you can sir, time please time is over okay 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 so uh, in the concluding remarks use social media for sharing information to the researchers or uh, your uh, targeted audience or the students and definitely you can uh, in this pandemic situation you can uh, share whatever you want to uh, share information to the your students Uh, you can share with the help of this platform definitely your students and your targeted audience will be get and in the teaching and learning uh, feed youtube and like that 
you can create your accounts and share the information so teaching and learning process should be can't stop in this situation this is the mo most important part or motto behind this so thank you to one and all and thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you sir now all the sessions are open for questionnaire i request the participants to put for, forward their questions for all the resource persons is the first question is uh, what are the various ways and means for developing e countries in library management kabande sir please answer what are the various ways and means for developing e content in library management actually library management related to the libraries and you can uh, create your content with the help of the you can say the uh, display software that is for the particularly for the institutional repository even you can create your uh, library related blog even you can create your library related uh, channel youtube channel and share their those books are available uh, uh, in audible format or video in the video format you can upload with the uh, your e content on uh, youtube account or your institutional repository with the help of this platform you can definitely develop your e content Yes, sir. I have answered. Another question. Yeah. Next question. Question is the will the administration of educational institution get success in online education, particularly in rural areas? Actually, this is the most important problem nowadays. We are feeling in this COVID-19 situation. Uh, how to uh, run the education system in the rural area? now it is what happened in the rural area there is a very much problem related to electricity and we can't imagine about the internet and all the facilities because people in the india most of the people have poor from the poor community so that time what happened but there is a need to avoid this problem even management or administrator also take care about that they can apply create such type of platforms so people can get the uh, you can say the they are come into the this education system and actually this is a very uh, crucial problem with the, all the administrator those who are uh, belongs from the rural area but there is a need to come over nowadays what happen uh, government also taking care about that they are also trying to give some internet connectivity or digital villages so with the help of even nowadays what happen uh, each and every students parents have mobile phones so with the help of that uh, uh, we can say instruments uh, we can start the education system and even administrator station can uh, overcome this problem in particularly in the rural areas shall i answer for this yes sir uh, shall I, I will give one answer for this the same thing the what could be the online educational situation or success particularly in the rural areas so i have three uh, solutions for this uh, i have recommended to andhra government also in recent webinars one thing power supply as we told there is a problem so we yes. must uh, uh, recommend from this platform to the government that uh, in rural area particularly academic time like morning 9 to 5 o'clock there should not be interruption of power first point there should not be interruption of power point a uh, power supply first point second point is that Though the the parents or students they might have gadgets or come uh, mobiles or anything, if they don't have data in it, it's useless. Am I right? If they don't have data or some kind of GB per day, they don't have. It's useless. So there is a answer for that. Uh, there is one small solution, but uh, all uh, internet service provider providers, ISPs, they have uh, CSRs, corporate social responsibility. Twenty percent of uh, profit. will go to csr in the csr a government can recommend that isp provider to provide students 2g per day free of cost in a, in csr package number 2 number 3 number 3 then how is they are going to use 
not with mobile mobile is limited uh, instead of mobile government can ask a software companies hardware companies from the csr to provide taps as a co-partner government as well as uh, manufacturing industries they can have provided some kind of tap to students or not especially rural students no otherwise all students so this way we can solve the problem one is electricity supply second is the supply of uh, 2 gb per day and uh, third is tap so tap will be purely confined for the educational program to view to learn to share and data what they get from the company it is very useful and beneficial to them third thing is uh, specifically the power supply this is over and one of my friend uh, in uh, abhijit sir uh, engineer sir one one reposed a question the books are printed as per syllabus but in regional language marathi or hindi whatever it is those in marathi and hindi hindi language they might have print books but they don't have soft copies to access as oer my recommendation to the government that whoever is publishing from government side to government whatever they publishing as a textbook or any recommended list the government should hold of that soft copy publication so in regional language publication those copies if they subscribe through the government by putting all those material as a oers in the government cloud or institution cloud or ir as my brother told institution repositories if, if we have free access to those published soft copies then problem will be solved addition to that i have given one more answer see every syllabus is prepared by some source faculty will prepare syllabus or material or chapter wise whatever it is uh, every material will be prepared by through some source the source is oer already you check your syllabus check your content of syllabus and basic of syllabus search in oer the same thing and better way also you will get it regional uh, language is different i am i am talking about other language regional publication can be sourced supplied as soft copy to all institution that is that we have to recommend to the government through this platform because they are wonderful patterns over here one uh, our uh, secretary sahib is mlc and uh, another president sahib honorable president sahib is president uh, president as well as the ex minister and uh, is mla right now they can uh, submit a document to have a soft copy of all publications as per the syllabus this is the submission thank you sir Hello. and my phone number whatsapp number i have mentioned somebody is having problem they may contact directly through phone or my email id as well as i have posted one uh, person also you please give answer and it will be very useful to you also it is uh, just related to our uh, our talks and inter process thank you sir thank you So, am I audible? Ah, uh, good afternoon to all. Once again, I welcome all of you for this uh, national webinar entitled "E-Content Development and Opportunities and Challenges." At the very outset. i pay my deep sense of gratitude towards 
my mentors my guides and all the persons who have uh, guided me who have inspired me on the occasion of guru purnima uh, first of all i am uh, i introduce myself myself dr gopal kakde uh, here to present vote of thanks at the very outset i thanks to our chief organizer and president of this uh, webinar uh, professor dr shuda sirsat sir for sharing his valuable time and presiding the webinar uh, the special thanks to today's keynote speaker principal dr shu uh, shu shankar gumre sir for giving a very a nice keynote address and uh, guiding all the participants and our all uh, college colleagues uh, the thanks are also special to uh, professor vidya sagar uh, krotha sir for his lucid and informative uh, lecture on e content development and opportunities and challenges uh, i also thank to dr dattatri kaabande for his uh, very informative and nice talk on e content development and opportunities and challenges uh, by showing various slides and also special thanks are to the participants who participated uh, participated in this uh, national webinar and also in interacted fruitfully and thanks are also to the technical partner uh, mr abhijit munde uh, uh, and also i regret uh, some inconvenience in the technical uh, session so uh, last but not the least i uh, end this webinar with a quote that uh, let's hope and uh, be with this uh, pandemic uh, with a positive thought that we uh, we will uh, educate our student by this e content uh, till this pandemic ends thank you thank you one and all